Today we have mail from retrosex.co.uk. They are a provider for different Game Boy parts such as shells, stickers, buttons, all the little side bits and they do a variety of different consoles, um, all Nintendo ones I'm pretty sure, and possibly the likes of other vintage ones. Um, I mean I'm very narrow in my choice, it's always Nintendo for me so... Let's just get straight in. There's another bag inside this bag. That can go away. Don't think you need my personal information. And, um, I suppose that's good to know in the future, actually. Oh, it's all this. Uh, because then I know I can take out the fruit. Okay, so let's go through what I just dumped out of that bag there, because that was a lot at once, and that was not something I ordered, and I was not expecting it, so it just totally took me by surprise, because it's very bright pink, and I guess they have spare one of these, and that's why they ship them. Maybe the orange? Oh, okay. So I wonder if it's unfinished paint jobs, maybe? Don't know. But that's certainly a colour combo, isn't it? I can put a case on, don't worry. That is certainly a colour combo. But, we have our black shell. Nice matte black. Because, you know, I love it when my fingerprints show up all over it. Uh, hindsight is a beautiful thing. Rubber pads, because nobody gets to see them, but I still want to know that they're there. And the you know, buttons and other pieces that we need. We also get a bunch of screws with it, which is nice. And the LED indicator, um, plastic, for lack of a better term. A bright red type C uh, cut battery cover. Our clean juice GBA, which simply clips into the little, uh, those things I forget what the name of them are but yeah so this one that I have just modded but as I did say it was practice and that is why I mean that's almost seamless we'll go with that again um but yeah, no, I'm probably going to do a quick tear down of this one and then we'll do a build up of this one. The only thing I need to do is cut out that part there, which terrifies me because this is a lovely case. But yeah, this time I'm just going to take it with a film nice and slow and we'll see how the end result is. So it's been a couple days and since the last part there, turns out that there wasn't a D-pad with the last set of buttons. So contacted support and two days later they've arrived. It's a full replacement set. Um, I also grabbed uh, one of the glass screen uh, lenses just because the plastic one that was with this was really quite scratched up and scruffed and it just made it look terrible. So now that everything's here,
Okay, our last step here is the battery mode, which is a clean just GBA. It's simply a little battery with a controller board that just slides on in and acts like a pair of batteries, except it's rechargeable and has a little charging light on them. So it just gives you that little bit more utility. There we go. Just get a nice pop through there. And that's it. So, hey, it turns on. That's always a bonus. There you go. Now, you will notice at the top there, the screen isn't quite sitting high enough. I'll probably fix that at some point. But the screen on this doesn't matter all too much because it will be getting used for the HDMI mod. Now that that's all done, we should be able to plug you in here and switch on you there. My PC in this cupboard is not strong enough to be able to render the image outputted by this game. Which says something. It'll probably be an incompatibility between either the Elgato HD60 or the really old graphics card that is running on this PC. It's like an R9270X. This was made of spare parts. It was pretty much just for recording me doing videos. Um, might have to get around to upgrading that now. What a shame. But that wraps up today's video, so you got a quick look. Um, I'll have to throw on footage from the actual PC and not this, because bad PC. Bad. But that wraps up. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you enjoyed my content, think about subscribing, and have a great day.